Take care, Tom. Bye, Tom. Thank How you. Doing, bro? Thanks Good. for being here. Thanks Thank you. Me. Big hand for David. Thank you. The Great Hall. Wow. I haven't been here before. I passed by here many times. And uh, and what's your name? What's your name, sir? Eric. Eric. Eric has uh, Eric has one of those bone crusher handshakes. Oh, sorry. Like it's like you know it's like yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, bro. That's okay. That's all right. I like. I wish I had hands of steel. But uh, it's okay. There you go. That's it. Um, I got a guitar story, but uh, I'll I'll fast forward to some other things here. I um, I have uh, I started doing comedy about maybe three years ago or so. There was a uh, there was a contest at a local establishment downtown. I won't say where um, because well I'll tell you why. It was a little frightening. I had. Uh, well, anyway, the person that went ahead of me, it was $500. Oh, laughter's and curds. You got to laugh, let it out. Let it, you know. Okay. So, $500, $500. And I don't know what your situation is like when the rent or mortgage is due, but you do things that you never thought you'd do before. You know, so I said, hey, you know, I'll get up and do some comedy. You know, I get up. But the only problem was, was that the place where I was at, there was uh, the person ahead of me. You got to watch who goes ahead of you. She was a stripper. She was on the pole. She was buck naked. All the guys, there were guys in the audience, majority of the guys. They were in various, ple various stages of pleasuring themselves before, you know, they call my name out there, you know. Okay, now we have David Little. You know, and these guys were just like, I mean, you ever been in a situation when you know you're experiencing pleasure and somebody just cut you off? Those guys were so angry. They got a name for that. Yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> those guys were so angry. Just you know, I got booed. I got booed. You know, I got booed so hard. You know how hard I got booed? How hard you get booed? I got booed so hard. I thought that place was haunted. <laughs> Every time I walk past that place now, I get a cold chill up my spine, and I keep going. Honestly, true story, true story. So um, anyway, uh, in the news, we have uh, been a lot of adoptions and things like that lately of, uh, of uh, African-American children, you know, people doing humanitarian things. We have uh, what Madonna has done that, uh, Angelina Jolie, uh, and most recently, who? Sandra Bullock, Sandra Bullock. Well, let's, uh, our president uh, had former president Bill Clinton. He's got a point of view on that. So if you applaud a little bit, I'll bring him to you. <laughs> president Bill Clinton. <laughs> Thank you. Apparently the applause didn't last so long, so you don't like me that much. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah, uh, a lot of women are trying to adopt the third African American president. I'm the first African American president. Obama's the second African American president. And they're trying for a third. It's not going to happen. Give it up, ladies. It's not going to happen. Anyway, I have done something to trump all of those women making humanitarian efforts to do what they're doing. I have decided, Father's Day coming up, I've decided to adopt Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods would be the son I never had. We hear a lot in common. We're, we're well endowed in very special ways. Women like to harass us and, and try to control us. Hillary doesn't know this yet. But um, yeah, I determined to save Tiger's marriage. All those women, those hot, horny women, rambunctious women that want to break up Tiger Woods' marriage, they want to screw with Tiger Woods, they're going to have to screw with me first. <laughs> I will do an intervention that will help things. 
intervention, outervention, intervention, outervention. I'll take these women to the hotel, motel, Holiday Inn, if necessary, for my son, mind you. I'm doing this for my son. And we'll have therapy in very ways, in very various intimate ways. Now I'm gonna let you know for the record, I did not have sex with that woman. Tiger Woods did not have sex with those women. And your, for and your mayor, Portland, you did not have sex with that man. Anyway, I'm going to bring your president to you right now, introduce you to uh, Barack Hussein Obama. And if you like him to come out, you have to give a little bit more applause than you did me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People of the world, Portland, Oregon, my inebriated brothers and sisters here tonight, this is our moment. This is our time. There's no challenge we cannot meet. For when faced with impossible odds of making all of you laugh, we've been told we're not funny. We can't make you laugh or we shouldn't even try. Generations of Americans have responded to a simple creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we laugh. Yes, we laugh. Yes, we laugh when people say, my ears are too big for my head. <laughs> yes, we laugh when people say, my bowling score sucks. Yes, we laugh when People don't realize the toughest part of my job is not being commander in chief of the free world. The toughest part of my job is living with my mother in law. I will close on that note. Thank you for listening. Be sure to pick up a card and watch David Little Short Laughs. I'm going to watch it. Michelle's going to watch it. Sasha's going to watch it. Malia's going to watch it. And I want you to watch it too. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you for listening.